Alright everybody, this is Bishop Bragg coming to you for the World Hot Sauce Awards 2014 reviews by Bishop Brad on Pepper TV, baby. Glad to be coming with all these sauces from all over the world to all of you. We're going to learn about some great products, learn about who placed and where, and all that goodness. Today, I've got a salsa called Stick Figure Salsa. It is Ghost Chili Salsa Verde. It's a limited special edition. It's got really, really cool fallish, Halloweenish type marketing with it, and that's I love that. It's all natural, no MSG, no preservatives. It's gluten free. The ingredients: fresh tomatillos, fresh jalapenos, fresh lime juice, fresh onions, fresh serrano peppers, ghost chilies, fresh garlic, fresh cilantro, tomato powder, tomato powder, salt, and cumin. Refrigerate after opening. Ghost Chili Salsa Verde. It says here, You aren't afraid of a little ghost, are you? Ghost chilies, that is. Booyah! This Ghost Chili Salsa Verde is just what you have been waiting for. A hauntingly delicious salsa with a frightening amount of heat. Don't be scared. Try it today. Cindy Lou and Hayden too, baby. Cindy Lou and Hayden too. Manufactured at Stick Figure Salsa. Um, you can go to stickfiguresalsa.com, stickfiguresalsa.com. Where is this baby coming out of? It's got Matthews 1926, which is good. good great, it's a Christian company. That's good stuff. I love it when they spread messages that way. Um, other than that, though, um, it's not telling me where it's from. So let's just go ahead. Let's get this baby rolling on marketing, on artwork. On label. I love it. I dig it. I love the black. I love the green. I just love the, the ghost that looks haunting. And he's eating a ghost pepper with the moon behind him. Very Halloweenish. I love Halloweenish love. I love the red skulls uh, all on it. Um, I love Verde. So on marketing, I would give this, with the feel of this, I'd give it a strong 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 on marketing. Okay. I didn't look prior to this on where this placed, if it placed at all. I'm going to give you the review on this. We're going to roll with it. And we'll see what comes of this. On aroma. Ooh, garlic, boot. But, man, the tomatillo. This stuff, cumin. This stuff smells delicious. Mmm, this stuff smells good. Is that, yep, this, that, that's the lime. This stuff smells excellent. On aroma, I give this stuff a 9 on aroma. Mmm, alright baby, let's roll. On flavor. Flavor, there's too much lime. There's too much lime. Bland. Not enough salt. I'm getting a lot of the lime. The tomatillo, the garlic. Uh, heat, it's got heat. It don't got a lot of it, which is fine. I like a, a product that's E for everybody. Uh, uh, flavor, ah, oh, man, too much lime, not enough salt, is what I'm feeling in this product. If it had more salt, it probably would have been excellent, but I'm getting a lot of lime, uh, which is fine, I love lime, but... I was expecting something to when it, when I smelt when I smelt in the aroma, I wish it would have tasted that way. Instead, the lime is creating a blandish flavor to it. That's ugh. I mean, it's not bad, but it ain't good. Uh, on flavor, I'd give this a, a a a three, a three and a half. I'll even be nice and give them a four. But uh, yeah, that. 
the flavor on this just needs to go to the drawing board. This a little bit less lime, more, a little bit more salt to, to bring out the flavor of what's in it. Um, on on heat, what's great is it's made with ghost pepper, but I think it'd be e for everyone. This is the kind of salsa verde that would give you the great sweats and the the, the feel good nose run. Uh, but it's not superiorly hot at all, which is great. It's been broken down. All around product for this, um, the marketing is excellent. The aroma is excellent. Um, the heat being not so hot and it being a ghost pepper is great. The flavor needs a little bit more work. So all around product on this sauce, I would give it, I'd give it, a, I'd give it a five out of ten. I'd give it a 5 out of 10. There may be somebody out there that may like this better than me. Um, but in my personal opinion, that would be an overall 5 out of 10. This is Bishop Brad, baby. Coming to you on the 2014 World Hot Sauce Reviews, baby. Coming to you Pepper TV style and Bishop Brad style. I'm going to see y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.